Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're at Valley Village and we are going to thrift for vintage apres ski. I say vintage because I've been seeing a lot of images on Pinterest from like vintage ski trips or like vintage ski photo shoots and I just think they're so cute. There's a couple in particular. There's one where she's wearing like a balaclava and a fur coat. Um, there's another one where she's wearing a knit set and a cute little belt. There's lots of cute fur hats and big sunglasses. So I think I'm definitely going to look in the hats, in the belts, in the sunglasses, in the knit sweaters. I want to look in the blankets too because I want to find some cute like cozy things and I'm definitely going to be looking for furs whether it be hats or vests or shoes so I am very excited for this I think the aesthetic is really cute so let's go inside the first thing I do want to check out is the leather slippers I've definitely heard of the brand I think it's pretty good I might consider this if it fits me I'm just looking for like some kind of wool blanket, maybe like a vintage blanket, very apresky. That blanket was so nice. I'm gonna check out the skirts for some knit skirts. This skirt, yet again, is not really apresky, but it's vintage and it's a wrap skirt. Oh my goodness, this plaid skirt as well. It's so cute. I think we could make this apresky by adding like a white turtleneck or something fur to it. I'm gonna check out the sweaters now. Sweaters are obviously very important to apresky and I would like to find sweaters with cute little Nordic designs on them. Oh my god, I've been looking for a knit dress and I found this one. It is 60% lamb's wool and 30% angora rabbit hair. I am having such good luck. Look at this wool sweater. Um, I do actually have a yellow wool sweater. Um, but mine's oversized. I'm not sure whether to get this or not. It does feel quite itchy. As cute as it is, I'm actually gonna leave it behind. This is handmade and it feels really Nordic and like ski. I really like it. I'm so happy I finally found a knit dress. Um, I am going to the dresses though still, just in case there's another one. Someone handmade this dress. Now, I'm not gonna get it, but I do just kind of want to appreciate how cute it is. I am in long coats looking for leathers and furs. Seriously, look how nice it is. It is a little pricey, so I'm not going to get it. I also really, really like this long belt. Oh my god, look at this photo. This one actually feels like a real painting too. Checking out the cardigans now. So cute, but it's acrylic. This is perfect for the theme. It's not really apri ski, but I still want to take a look. Since these are kind of crocky, they'd be really cute with a pair of boots. Love these jeans. I don't know what the brand is. There is a little tank back here, and they were made in Canada. I am in the vest, and look at this 100% wool one. It's so interesting. I'm probably not going to get it, but I am looking for kind of a fur one. Um, that is definitely fake. Um, and I'm just really not seeing anything, so I think we might move on pretty soon. I think it would be really fun to find a pair of knit pants. Oh my goodness, look at these pleather red pants, except they are vintage. They were made in Canada. I'm kind of considering it. The zipper is definitely broken though. I for sure need to check out the boots. Oh, those are very cute. 
looking for a pair of heel boots. I did find some like pom pom y at Ski boots a couple weeks ago, but I still want heel boots. One of my last stops is the hats, scarves, and mitts. I really want to find some earmuffs. I think that would be perfect. Maybe some leather gloves. Uh, we're just gonna check it out and see what we can find. You can see there was a couple earmuffs, but they weren't super good quality, so I'm not gonna get them. Look at this one. It is a rabbit and acrylic. It's a little hat. This scarf reminds me of the girl in the green scarf from Confessions of the Shopaholic. I forgot to say we're also looking for balaclavas, so far I'm not seeing it. There is no way I can get all of this, so I have to make decisions. I pretty much made my decisions. This one I'm stuck on. Um, it is kind of big on me, but I like that it's okay. So I got a lot of good things and one really big item. I think the haul is gonna be so good. You guys are really going to like it. So I'll see you guys at the try on haul. Okay, so we're back. I got so many things. It's incredible. You guys will have to tell me what your favorite is because I really cannot pick. Um, let's start off with the sweaters. The first item I got is very Nordic inspired. It is this red sweater. I love this color and I love like the Nordic pattern at the top. It's definitely handmade and I think they did a really good job. I think it is such a cute fit on me. I think it looks really great tucked into something. Um, in terms of our theme, it is so perfect. You see so many Nordic sweaters along like the apres ski theme. I feel like some kind of knit pant and like fur headgear would look really great with this. The other sweater we got is this white cape. The brand is Demont and it was made in Canada and I just really loved, well, everything about it. I love the color and I love these pearlescent buttons and the fringe on the bottom. And I also love the little armholes in the front. The only other thing about it is it was missing a button right in the middle but I did replace it with something that I think looks pretty similar. This is perfect for the theme. You could even wear it as like a little shawl. I think wearing a knit set underneath it would look very good especially something that's like nice and warm and fluffy. This next item I have been looking for for a really long time and I just haven't found one that I've loved but I found this red knit dress. It is perfect. It is gray and red and it is made of 60% lamb's wool and 30% angora rabbit hair and then 10% nylon. I just really love the way the wool looks. I really like that kind of like feathered rabbit hair look. I also really like the asymmetrical sleeve patterns. It's so nice and warm. I have been wearing it constantly. I also think it would be really cute with earmuffs. Earmuffs would be perfect. But again, this is something that I could totally see in like a Pinterest apres ski board. Next up, we got another red thing and they are these red pleather pants. I got this one because it was made in Canada. Um, so I figured it was probably vintage. I'm not sure though. The way to make this apres ski is for sure wear a sweater and something fur like. I feel like that is the formula is to just always wear knits and furs. The only thing about this is that the zipper is slightly broke. The next item I got is this vintage mini skirt. The brand is Fairweather and it was made in Canada. What I loved about it was this matching belt. In the center, I love when things come with matching belts. I would love to wear this with like a tight black turtleneck. I think that would look really sophisticated. This skirt is very 90s, which I feel like is adjacent to the theme, but not exact. I really love it and I can't wait to wear it. Moving on to accessories now. For apres ski, you really wanna get a lot of like mitts and scarves and toques and earmuffs. It just really completes your look. First off, I got these Nevada gloves. They are adorable. They're like a dark green mossy color um, with a little velcro strap in front. There is just a treasure trove of leather gloves at the thrift store. I would definitely recommend you go check them out because I think they are so cute. I would probably wear them with that cape to show them off or I would wear them with a sweater. I also got another green accessory and it is this green scarf. The brand is Eaton and it was made in West Germany and it's 100% lamb's wool. I think it's so funny when things are made in like a no longer existing place. I love the history to it. Anyways, I loved everything about the scarf. I love the color. I love the feel of the fabric. I love that it's vintage. I would love to find like a white fur jacket to wear with this. So yeah, I really love this scarf and I'll be wearing it a lot. And lastly, one of my favorite items I got is this vintage Hudson's Bay blanket. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. It's brown and orange and yellow and white. It's very fall-like. It was made in Italy and it's 60% wool, 30% mohair, and 10% nylon. But I was just so happy that we found one because when I was looking into Apri Ski on Pinterest, I feel like I just saw so many pretty photo shoots with like blankets and various 
winter things and I thought this would be perfect and then I almost forgot that I got this painting it's an original by Kay Baker I think and it was only $18 but there's really beautiful colors on it and it's so well done and I love the frame it was already in and this gold embossing so I had to get it so that was everything that I got I think I did really well let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below and if you like this video leave a like and if you want to see more videos from me subscribe I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time bye